Hey everyone, I'm Connor and welcome to my channel, The Closet. If it's your first time here on my channel, I like to talk about all things luxury. So if that's something you're into, I'd love it if you could hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified when I bring out new videos. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the bags that I currently have in my collection and why they just work for me. Okay, I was looking at them and I first thought, mm, you all kind of look the same, but then I'm like, actually, no. All right, Connor, we're not going to judge a book on its, the cover, okay? We're going to read the first few pages before we make an assumption. Um, but I thought, you know what? I might actually, there might be something in this video that could help others. Because if there's anything I am, it's about helping other people. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a luxury martyr, okay? Spread the word! <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> All right, let's get into it. So like I was saying before, I was looking at my bags and I thought, why do these bags work for me at the moment? And why do I reach for each bag for different purposes? Yada, yada, yada. So the first one I'm going to start with is my small Loewe puzzle bag. This is in that soft caramel grained calf skin with the light gold hardware. Um, I purchased this at the end of 2021. We're now you know, a good part through 2023. And I have no regrets about buying this bag. Um, I knew that this kind of bag would work for me. I know the size works for me. Um, but I ultimately found that I now really like these kinds of, um, not nudes, what are they called? Neutral colors like the browns and the kind of, you know, the Hermes gold colors. Like I, I find that they kind of match a lot of the clothes that I do wear. And that's probably because I wear a lot of, you know, like greys, blues, kind of like denim, really kind of cool light colors. And these always kind of complement that really, really well. If you wear like, um, like blue jeans and a white shirt and then like sneakers, this kind of color scheme or this kind of color shade always goes well with that. It can look a bit too, you know, like, if you're somebody that likes to experiment with things, it's a very conservative approach to that. But for me, I kind of like that look and I think it works for me. Whilst I am on this, you know, journey of self-discovery for stuff, I found that I'm probably more naturally attracted to a like fresh clean look and this kind of goes perfectly with that. Probably not with this gray, it's a bit too dark, but most stuff this goes with. Um, so, I find now when I am looking for bags that are probably more on the expensive side, like this now retails for about 5,000 Australian dollars. So if I'm going to pick a bag in a color, I kind of want it to be something that can be very versatile. Um, in saying that, I kind of now am not really in that mindset when buying a bag where I'm like, it's got to go with all these different options, otherwise I don't want it. But if I'm going to get a kind of bag like this in this style where it is kind of more of a practical bag, I'll probably lean more towards it being more versatile. Um, but that's the first kind of thing I've noticed. So the next bag is my Fendi Soft Trunk Baguette. Now, I, when I purchased this from Fendi in Brisbane, I I guess wasn't looking for a black bag. I wasn't looking for anything in particular, but I just saw it and I just wanted it. There was no, you know, two ways about it. I saw it and I wanted it. I didn't think about, oh, it's a black bag. Will I wear a black bag? But I didn't think about any of that stuff. I just saw it, looked at it and I wanted to buy it. Normally I am, I wouldn't say I'm an indecisive person, but I'm probably a bit more logical and I'll kind of run through things in my head before I make a decision. Um, and with this, I kind of was just like, I'm throwing that rule book out the window. I want it. Now, I guess my intuition was correct with this because I love this bag. It is a structured bag, but it probably needs to be for the look that it gives off to be achieved. It's very fresh. Obviously, it's in this black calf skin with the kind of FF embossed and debossed in it. It's got silver hardware. And because of the size of the bag and the kind of style of it, I think it just works. Now for me, one of my favorite colors I love wearing is black. I don't know why, but anytime I wear black, whether it be to work, I wear like a black business shirt, whether I'm wearing a black t-shirt, I always just feel very, I don't know, put together. I feel very confident and I don't know if it's because black is slimming. I don't know if it's because black is not really a color. It's just more of a, 
I don't know. I just feel, whenever I wear black, I feel confident. So whenever I wear this bag, I do feel confident regardless if I'm wearing black or not. Generally, I can be a bit mitchy matchy. So I do like to wear like a black shirt and then carry this bag. Um, but that's what I gravitate to. That's my kind of style. And every time I take this bag out, I, I just love it. I think it's such a confident bag to wear. Um, and I think male and female people, male and female people, unisex bag, anyone can take it. And I love carrying it handheld with the strap kind of hanging down. Um, or if I'm needing it crossbody, I'll pop it on crossbody and I think it sits really well. I feel like this kind of bag works in my collection because when I just want a sexy black bag, this takes the cake. The next bag would have to be my Loewe mini puzzle bum bag in this cyan blue color. Um, this is got brushed palladium hardware and the classic calf skin. Now this, with the Loewe, just side note, I found that when they've got about 5 million different types of leather and they all have very subtle names that kind of change them. This is in the classic calf skin, but this is in more of a matte finish and it does have a prominent grain. It almost reminds me of like the like the marks in the palm of your skin, that kind of grain. And I'm really glad that this particular bag came in that because the texture of it really works for me. I like that it's smushy and I like that these kinds of leathers really reflect color very well. Similar to like Swift with Hermes, people gravitate towards Swift because it's so pigmented. But this bag I find I gravitate towards when I want not so much the style of the bag because I think bum bags, I guess, traditionally are quite more of a playful bag. And that's probably why people would wear them. Like they think of bum bags like going to fe music festivals, which I'd never fucking go to, um, or like going to like, you know, the carnival or that sort of stuff. But I find it's more um, the color that you pick it in dictates how fun the bag is, I guess. And this, if I'm wearing something that I think is a bit too boring or a bit to vanilla, um, I will just automatically go to this bag because it's so vibrant, it's quite neon, and it really just makes makes it look fun, okay? Um, now, I traditionally will wear this over my shoulder like this, or, um, you know, if I want it to be full crossbody, I'll put it on and wear it bum bag. Um, they do have this in a small size, like this, I guess the same size as my other puzzle bag, but I think it works best in the mini because otherwise the small, I think it protrudes out a bit too much. Um, and I just think it works. It's a good amount of, it's like bite size, good amount. You know what I mean? So this kind of bag, if, if I had, you know, another, more of a desire to get another one, I would still get the same bag, but in another more vibrant color. At the time when this one, uh, when I purchased this, they had like neon orange, neon yellow, and then like an apple green. Um, but of course I picked blue naturally, but if I had all the money in the world, I would have probably gotten the green one or the yellow one just because, you know, why the fuck not? The next bag is my Gucci Ophidia messenger bag. I think it's called this bag. When I first bought it at the end of 2021, pretty sure before Christmas, um, I, I can't actually remember why I wanted to buy it. I just wanted something that was Gucci, I think. I don't know. But um, I didn't know why I was attracted to it. But now I've kind of come to realize that the Gucci canvas, because it's quite cool toned, especially like this lighter part. It, like I said, with my puzzle bag, it kind of goes with that style, like blue jeans, white shirt, that sort of look and I find it is quite versatile even if you're not trying to be mitchy matchy even if you just want something that is just cool toned in general regardless if it goes with what you're wearing I find that whenever I put on this bag I'm like oh yeah this works and it just kind of works I don't know the logic behind it but I'm pretty sure it's because of how the canvas is um, I find this bag really easy to use it's just one big open pocket in there it fits you know, like your phone, you just slip it in and then you can fit quite a lot in this bag. And because it does have this coated canvas, it's, I just take it out, even if it's raining or whatnot. And I find it easy going, no dramas at the time when I bought it, it was about $1,300. I know now it's up to $1,800, but I still think that if you are looking for a bag like this, it, it works. Um, but if you are looking for a canvas as a kind of I guess your equivalent of a neutral, this works, especially if you're into cooler tones versus a Louis Vuitton monogram canvas, which we're going to get to in a minute. Um, but I think that's the reason why I gravitate towards this bag and why it works. 
Next would have to be my Speedy 35 in the monogram canvas. This one is from my LV Heritage because I have my initials on it in blue because what other color would I get? Uh, now I got this bag during the pandemic. I think September 2021 I ordered it and then it came in October and I have actually a lot of sentimental attachment to this bag and it was the first bag I ever purchased from Louis Vuitton. I ordered it. I felt like such an absolute boss. When it was ready, I opted to have it picked up in the store and they were the sales associate who got it for me. She opened it up and she was like, oh my God, I love this bag. She's like, you picked so well. Cause the inside of it is in a different blue, but it's very vibrant. And the bag had that Louis Vuitton Vachetta smell. Mm, it actually still smells like it on the inside. And it was just one of those things where I, I thought I wanted it for one purpose, but I ended up only using it for other purposes. But it's just something that I love. I think it's really, you know, it's just one of those bags for me that I want in my collection, regardless of the frequency of how I use it. But I find that I use it when I'm traveling a lot. I put it on top of my suitcase. Um, it obviously can hold heaps. It has a crossbody strap that's adjustable. So yeah, and it's not a practical bag in any stretch of the imagination because it is 35 centimeters wide. It's a duffel bag. But when I do want to have an overnight bag or a carry on bag that I want to put stuff in, I opt to take this bag and I feel like a boss. Okay. I feel like an absolute boss. It's got my initials on it. It's like, who the fuck is CB? Oh bitch, that is me. I can't. And it's just one of those things that the time I bought it, the reasons why I bought it at the time, the feeling I got when I purchased it, it just works for that reason. So whenever I do take it, I just love taking it regardless of how bulky it is. Probably wouldn't take it out now if I'm just, you know, as an everyday bag, but definitely if I need something to carry a little bit more things in it, I will opt for this bag. And every time I take it, it's like love at first sight. Now with regards to the canvas, it is probably a bit warm for me, but I think the blue really changes the balance and it works in that sense. I mean, it's monogram canvas. You can wear it with anything. And because I'm not wearing it against my body, it's more like I'll carry it handheld like this, or it sits on top of my suitcase. I'm not too worried about how it works with like clothes and stuff, but I don't know what the point of this segment is for this bag, but I just love it. Okay. Love! Now, while we're on the subject of Louis Vuitton canvas, this is my alpha wearable wallet and it is in the monogram eclipse. Uh, it's got like a dark, oh, sorry, like a light ruthenium hardware. And this bag, I think, um, it's more of like a wallet on chain. Like it's got a larger kind of pocket at the back, which still does fit a lot. And then at the front, it has got like card slots, more of like a slip pocket kind of design. Now, I probably, with this color scheme, I probably wouldn't get a lot more. I feel like traditional monogram coloring would work better for me. But in saying that, if I want a bag that is dark but not black, this kind of works. And I'm trying to think what clothes I have where this works best for me anyways. Probably, hmm. If I'm wearing like darker colored denim, not light blue, like blue jeans denim or, and not black denim, this is when I would wear it um, because I feel like it just contrasts well with it. And I think because this bag is so small and monogram, it like, it's not too flashy because the bag isn't big. So you're not automatically drawn to the monogram, but it is small enough to kind of see the monogram and think, oh, this person, they're not fucking with me, okay? They know exactly what they're doing. Um, that's the kind of vibe. It has a adjustable crossbody strap. It's very carefree, very easygoing, a gra great grab and go bag, but it's more of a more of a darker kind of color scheme, but not black. So that's probably why it fits well into my collection. And I don't own any other bags in Louis Vuitton monogram besides my Speedy and this. So more the merrier, Matt. Now the penultimate, as Dale loves to froth over saying that word, the penultimate bag on my list would be my Ferre Le Page Hands On 17. This is one of the first luxury bags that I got when I started YouTube, I'm pretty sure. And this is in this navy blue canvas. It's got a bit of yellow accent here. Um, it's kind of got this rose goldy hardware. And this bag is perfect for when I'm wearing navy. I wear a lot of navy blue. Sometimes I like to be all mixed 
itchy matchy and I feel like this really breaks it up because there's a lot of colors going on. There's all blue, yellow, darker blue, lighter blue and because of how small the bag is it just breaks up what I'm wearing. Um, I took this to Paris with me. I got a lot of compliments um, from sales associates in stores. They asked me, you know, where's this bag from? What is it Goya? Like a lot of them thought it was Goya, but I'm like, no girl, learn your fashion houses. Um, but it's a very simple layout camera bag. It's got a slip pocket in the back here, which I never use. And then it's just one big open pocket. Um, it's durable, easy going. And I, you know, have a sentiment for this bag in my heart. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just perfect and it's my navy equivalent bag. If I'm wearing navy, I will gravitate towards this bag. I don't like wearing black and navy together. I know it is a faux pas and, you know, it's almost like wearing double denim. I think double denim works now because people know that, you know, you can wear different types of denim together and it can look good. But for me, I, I don't like wearing black and navy together. It just clashes in my head. So if I am wearing navy, I wouldn't wear, you know, like the monogram eclipse bag like before I would take this um, and yeah now the last bag on my list would be my Dior saddle pouch I'm pretty sure it's called I picked this up in Paris naturally this holds fond memories um, with my friend Stella and I we were in Dior um, and you know it was like my luxury Parisian shopping experience in Dior getting this bag and it holds that kind of connotation now. Um, but what drew me to this bag was the mixture of the different textures. And it's not just a black bag because of that. So the top, it's in this kind of grained calf skin, which I love the texture from that. It's kind of got this military industrial hardware, this little buckle. Can I do it? Yes. Little buckle here, which gives it a bit more like... It's not a pretty bag, it's more of like a, got some grit to it. And then the jacquard oblique pattern softens the overall look of the bag, but gives it another dimension. And look, I fucking understand we're talking about a tiny little bag. Who thought it had so many layers? Okay, but it fucking does. And that's why I fell in love with this bag. Now, in terms of using it, it's very, very um, carefree, in my opinion, to use. Of course, this is jacquard, but because it's dark, it's not staining anytime soon. Um, but it's similar to all my other bags. It's one big open pocket with a slip pocket at the back there. And then there's another kind of larger slip pocket here for stuff. Um, I generally just use the, the main pocket in there, but this bag, I love taking it. I probably only worn it in all honesty, maybe two or three times, but when I do pick it up, it serves a purpose. And that would be it's quite versatile and um, when I wear it with clothes, I don't stick to wearing it with black stuff. I don't stick to wearing it with darker colored clothes. I can wear it with anything really and it just breaks it up. The different textures, I guess, would be the reason for that and that's what kind of breaks it apart from the monochrome Eclipse, what breaks it apart from my black Fendi bag is just the different textures. It makes it more of a focal point so people, I guess when they're looking at what you're wearing and saying oh yeah this works that doesn't if people do do that I do that to people so I'm assuming they will do that it kind of just breaks it up I don't know if that makes any sense actually I don't know if any of these make any sense this is just what's in my mind this is what the rationale I have when I pick out bags so I hope that makes sense but this is why I love this one and I this the video of the review or the unboxing this is nearly 10,000 views and I get a lot of and that's not a brag by the way I'm just saying it's popular and I get so many messages from men all over the world mainly in England Europe they message me and say how do you find this bag how do you like it how does it wear all of that stuff um so you know if you're watching it's 10 out of 10 well, oh. There we have it guys. They're all the bags that I have, or most of them. I think there's one or two that I haven't talked about, um, but that's everything I have and why it works for me and why they're not going anywhere. Of course, who knows what the future brings. There might be something I like even better. Maybe I might need to trade one in. Maybe I might just add another one in. Who knows? But that's what I currently have. And maybe this might help you think about why you're drawn to certain bags. Maybe this might help you think about moving something on because it's not working for you. I don't know. I'm just trying to help people because like I said before, I am a luxury martyr. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching. I'd love it if you could give this video the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Why haven't you actually? Subscribe. I'm gonna go through all my subscribers and if there's someone on there who should be on there, 
I actually, I don't even know how to do that, but you don't know that. Well, now you do. Just subscribe. <laughs> Thanks guys. And I'll see you all very shortly in my next video. Bye.